All right, guys. Well, if this ain't the coolest thing, we've got my 50 in the middle. We got an SV40 and we've got an SV100. I figured I'd line them up. We'll measure, uh, you know, a stick out, if you will. And I kind of set the buckets to where I would say it's a realistic reach out. I mean, you could, you could tooth in something a little bit, but this is just put it as you will i don't know how they measure it i'd never really pay attention i would put this as a realistic reach out if you don't agree sorry um i'm just trying to show you real life i could grab material there and i could pull it to me and each bucket's about the same i didn't measure the angle or anything crazy and all i'm gonna do sorry i'm doing this stuff by myself like usual Every once in a while I can have Sammy or something, but not very, not very seldom unless I'm paying him or on the job or something. She doesn't like doing this stuff. So I got a 25 foot tape because I couldn't remember what the heck this big son of a bitch, what it does. Okay, we are, let's call it 19 feet. I'd call it 19 feet of stick out or, you know, reach out because you could roll that bucket a little more. Um and let's measure look at my 50 tin and windows she's dirty as heck right now okay well, let's get our hangover what is that seven inches what is that let's call it eight inches we gave it a little bit of extra on thing let's just call it eight inches it's not eight inches it's probably here let's do this let me get the it's seven inches look it's seven inches okay and while we're here at the 50 obviously you know no no hangover zero tail svs are minimal tail okay let's our real life and i don't know i haven't measured this like this no, pay attention. I know it's going to be hard to go back to it now after running this 100 for a couple days. A couple, three days. Uh, we're 14 foot. So about even 14 foot. And granted, I'm probably rolled in a little more than the SB100 bucket. There's it. And then we'll go directly over to me. So yeah, I've got mine rolled in a little more. I mean, I... We gave that 19, let's call that 14.5, 14.6, 14.5, somewhere around there. What's the little guy? SB40, let's show the bucket. So the bucket's, you know, obviously curled in. It's not reaching all the way out. To me, that's not realistic. I mean, maybe if you're reaching out to grab a little bitty dirt clod or something, but realistically and we're just doing them all the same and again like i said i didn't i didn't measure the angle or nothing i know somebody's gonna say oh well that's like an inch off or something that's fine i don't care huh well that's interesting um huh i mean it's 13 six and mine's 14 foot so an sb40 is six inches less reach out a thousand pounds less let's go measure the the butt let's go measure its butt let's see about in the middle it is four and a half inches can you see that four and a half inches i mean looking down at yeah i'd say four and a half inches well there you go there you go. Take your pick. There's your picture. Yanmar, Yanmar, Yanmar. Got new red and yellow and yellow. Um, and also, I guess this 40 doesn't have a thumb. Looking at the two thumbs, that thumb's a couple hundred pounds. So if you had a 40 with a thumb, it may not like that block a lot out there where I was. Um, I guess I could have put the bucket on it and that would have simulated a thumb maybe um anyways but it it would do it you'd you couldn't do whatever you wanted to with it but it would definitely do it um i really like the 
my gosh, what the heck was it called? Um, Ionic something. Hang on a second. He texted it to me. Isochronous control, where when you hit the tracks, it throttles up 200 RPM and gives you two more horsepower, is what he said. Um, anyways, but I, I'm good with my 50. If I did anything, I'd probably buy a 55. Um, but as you can see, you know, the SV100 over there, you can definitely tell it's a different cab. Uh, well, I mean, both, all of them are, are different inside houses. Um, because mine's got a pretty good size shelf on the back, but room wise, they're not horrible. And let's show these pedals real quick. I did have the doors open and it, I don't know, you couldn't see the model numbers. I was trying to be fancy. Okay, so here's the pedals in the SV40, okay? So pay attention to what those look like. See, here, we'll measure them while we're sitting here. So this is three inches wide. And then this is like 10 inches. I measured it because I'm like, I want these. So 11 inches, 11 inches. So that's 11 inches, three inches wide. Okay, we'll go right over to my 50. Here's my 50. And this is a 2019. It's not old. It's 2019. Pedals are down. See obvious difference? So those over there, and it looks like I could probably move this up. A set of bolt holes um no because it's not threaded back there well maybe it is threaded back here okay so it is threaded back here so i could move these up to that position in here um these are adjustable but look look how narrow these are like two inches i mean i, I set an inch and three quarter because i measured kind of down here but we'll give it two inches okay and then they're eight and a half inches long and then the angle of them if you looked over at the 40 we'll go back over there um the angle of them so the the 40 pedals are sitting here and they come down and it tra it traverses kind of this plane here instead of having this real sharp little doodad sticking up it kind of makes it more flat um and i think it's where you get a lot of your length but anyways we'll walk right back over there so look at those and we'll go right back over here. These are a lot more comfortable on my feet. See how this is not such an abrupt angle? They're opened up a little bit. This is a bigger pad, bigger pad. I don't care about that. That grip tape's gonna come off anyways. So, but my, my foot fits a lot better on these and see how this is close to the bolt hole and it's kind of a better angle, but that being laid out better, it's almost like a pedal like what's in the SV100. Or, you know, like a larger machine. It's got, you know, a full a full pedal instead of the little half pedals or whatever you want to call these. Anyways, we're going to order those for this. I'm going to unbolt that, unbolt that. My dealer told me to and make sure they fit. And if they fit, I'm ordering me a set of pedals. I don't even care if they're like 300 bucks a piece. I'm ordering me a set of pedals. I might care if they're 300 bucks a piece, but anyways, um... Big girl's going to Springfield. I think somebody in Springfield wants to demo it. Um, we really didn't do a walk around of it. So I guess we could do kind of a walk around. I mean, I don't have any of the doors opened up or anything. Um, I saw that grab handle. I thought, well, maybe there's something up there. And I thought I could jump to there. And I don't know if I could do that without hurting myself. I'm probably gonna hurt myself. I'm not that talented. Um, this is your fuel. Here's your fuel tank. Hydraulic tank. This is engine access for like belts and stuff. Uh, this is bolted down. I don't know what it is. I assume it's access for your hydraulics. Maybe the battery or something. I didn't really look over this machine. So I just, I demoed it to see if it was of size as what of what we could use um it definitely it definitely did its thing while we were out there um this one does not have the angle blade it is not float the sv40 by the way is float they're all i think they're all from now on uh factory float all of them are going to have floating blades if it's angle blade or uh straight blade so and the tracks are always 
in line with the blade on all of them even big dude um i don't know guys i don't know what else i could show you here let's check this just because i'm curious i'm sitting here looking at it and let's see let's see what our width is see if i can halfway do this and i'm sure this is in the spec somewhere i'm just curious we're sitting right next to him 68 inches wide and i am i say i a vio 50 current model is 75 and a half inches um since they're right here what do we have i think my tracks are 13 and a half inches 13 and a half 13 and a half or whatever millimeter that is i have no idea and i i don't care to know i know somebody will email me oh it's this much well okay i don't know metric system confuses me 87 inches long what am i i'm sorry i can't do the metric equation and i might be in a divot on one and on a pad on another uh, 101 inches long on the vio 50 so anyways there you go guys if you need a little i don't know i think these are 9800 pounds uh 39 horsepower super capable little guy if you don't mind a little bit of butt it's literally what do we say five and a half inches that that's like a john deere 35g that's what i had before i bought my 50 um and i i, I love my 50 but deer didn't make that size i tried tried yanmar out and i figured out that they're in my opinion probably one of the best excavators out there but anyways i figured we'd do a little demo um we just did the weight demo on the Yanmar and we are on the 50 and we were literally in the same spot, same block, same chain, a little bit different circumstances, but basically the same, same. Um, if you watch this video, I'm hoping to get it up tonight. If you watch this video and you would like to see me maybe pick something up with this a certain way or something, I have this until like Monday, Tuesday. Um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow rain possibly snow uh into like saturday morning so it may be too wet to do a whole lot that's why i kind of came home and wanted to get this done um anyways one thing i did notice that's interesting so the blade has a welded cutting edge on the fixed blade my cutting edge i know is bolt on see i mean i know i'm dirty but in my first video see my bolt that's a bolt-on double bevel cutting edge meaning you could flip it so the solid blade is a welded blade so i wonder if that's a characteristic of the of the non uh the non-angle blade just the straight blade and actually speaking of the blade i believe that the sv40 you can get a straight blade like this you can get the angle blade or another option you can get the six-way blade i believe i saw that i think you can get the six-way blade in the u.s which is up down angle and then side to side it'll tilt side to side and then another thing that my dealer did mention is the sv40 does come with a optional optional i didn't catch that when i read it optional dual pto he the first one they got in had dual ptos on it meaning uh the the primary pto look up the specs but let's call it uh i think it's like 19 and a half gallon a minute my machine's like 20 and a half 21 gallon a minute somewhere around there so my machine is set up dual plumbed off the valve so if i'm running my thumb i leave my valve open and it runs the thumb so when i run my brush hog I close this valve and then I plug my brush hog in um, and then I can run my brush hog. What happens is if you don't run a strap like in here and around here and to the other side, um, this thumb over about three, four, five hours, depending on how much you're brush hogging, it will, uh, it'll bleed down. I know that valve's supposed to shut it off, still lets a little bit by, it'll bleed down. Um, the nice thing with dual PTO is is i believe the second pto i know it's lower gallon a minute i want to call it 13 gallon a minute 
somewhere around in there um it uh it it won't run your thumb as fast which is fine because the thumbs on these are incredibly too fast anyways um i mean they're proportional but yeah look at that do you see that i know i got adhd i'm like I, i'm so crazy about you know oh shiny squirrel over there but this is why i want to put hybrids on it i just happened to look over and see it um you know cuts my girl's got i don't know 100 150 180 hours on her big old cuts big old cuts big old cuts we've got thorns stuck in her because i don't know i'm in the woods all the time anyways those aren't horrible but that one over there is a pretty good one and then the other track's got a big chunk out in the side we're putting hybrids on as soon as i can figure it out we're putting hybrids on her that'll be a, another video um anyways but uh sorry i got off track we'll leave it in the video people can see how ate up i am um so anyways so then you'll have if you get the dual pto option i i don't remember if it had dual shutoff valves or a single shutoff valve i don't remember what it had and i don't see anything besides this bolted on there to give me any indication that you could bolt on another uh block but i thought that they had another block on them when you ordered them so maybe they just weld the other block on i wouldn't think that they would do that but anyways uh the dual pto kit is an option it's not factory i actually thought it was factory when i first looked at these anyways well there's a there's a pretty impressive yamar lineup i don't know if you guys like that but i love having that in my backyard um anyways we got the sv40 just a, a demo loaner whatever they just brought it out for me to do a video and then we've got my vio 50 dirt everything's dirty except for the brand new one and then big girl the sv100 it's going to springfield for a demo um if we decide to buy it it'll come back but i if we bought one i think i'm gonna buy new and we're getting still undercarriage we're not gonna mess with rubber tracks especially on something that big i'd rather have the extra counterweight down below uh we might actually put a counterweight on it just because with that 30 inch bucket and a bunch of pond muck all the way out you can get it to kind of do the little whoop it's probably not showing you because of my my stabilization but you kind of go whoop you know a little bump on the track so i'd probably get it with the counterweight um we're gonna put hybrid tracks on the 50 and see what it does and then if we need to do the counterweight i've already got a price on the counterweight i'm gonna order it and then we'll just have to wait for it to come in on a truckload of equipment because it's way cheaper that way anyways um sv40 spend the night or it's spending the weekend actually so if you want me to do something very specific try to give me an email uh next couple days from when this video's up after a couple days don't worry about it because it's going to be gone um we were going to brush hog with it but it's supposed to rain the next couple days and i told him just to leave the brush hog air because i i didn't want to make his equipment nasty um anyways everything else is like strictly strictly yanmar you know nice stuff let's see where did i put my tape measure i want to measure something real quick while we're on here these cylinders look eerily similar so let me get the camera uh, let's call that a two inch rod and a four inch cylinder what are we here huh four inch cylinder these have the same size boom cylinder that's that's pretty interesting so that's can you see that inch and five eighths or something and three and a quarter yeah three and a quarter huh wow inch and three quarter I've got a little bigger uh a little bigger bucket cylinder than the 40 but the boom cylinder is the same size cylinder body and the same size rod huh that's interesting i mean because i was sitting there looking at it, it's like man those cylinders look pretty similar 
but I, you wouldn't think that they would put that beefy of a cylinder on it, but like I said, I think there is only six inches of dig depth difference, or eight inches, something like that, between the 40 and my 50. So if you don't want to spend the extra money for the 50 and have a little bit more trailer, a little bit more machine behind you and all that, uh, guys, I think this 40 is going to kick everybody's butt. I don't know about you, but I'd I'd probably call your your local uh, Yanmar dealer. If you're in Kansas City, I'm actually in the Kansas City area. Um, our dealer is Great Plains Vermeer. Here, Vermeer Great Plains. They are in Springfield, Missouri, Olathe, Kansas, Wichita, Kansas, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Oklahoma City. Uh, your Kansas City salesman ought to be Keith Kaufman. That's my salesman. Uh, he's very knowledgeable. If he doesn't know, he gets back with you. Um, no ifs, ands, or buts. So we'll give them a shout out. They are kind enough to bring me anything I need, you know, anytime. He'll bring me stuff home, you know, if I need a bucket uh, for a mini skid or something like, hey, can you, can you bring it out? He'll just bring it out on his way home. I don't know if he does that for everybody, but uh, um, I'm telling you guys, if you want something in one of those areas, I would definitely call Great Plains Vermeer and talk to them about their Yanmar stuff or their mini skids. They've been great on the mini skid. So anyways, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you like this little guy. I really think if I didn't have my 50, if I had like a 50, maybe even a 55 or an 80, I'd, I'd, I think I'd probably buy one of these. That way I'd have something to get into small yards, super capable. I could set a limestone wall. We used to set limestone walls with my 35G all the time. And it was minimal tails about this way. It was about this machine, just 23 horse instead of 39 horse. Um, didn't have the fancy, the ISO uh, Cronus. I think that's what it was called, ISO Cronus. Um, didn't have that you know the stuff down the tracks um anyways it wouldn't do a donut i don't know if i showed that let's do that real quick that'll be the last part of the video so this is awesome okay because if i didn't show that if i didn't show it you guys have to see it Go back here in the okay so we are in in the dirt okay we're in dirt watch this well, i might have showed this already but okay feel slow now so I didn't have two speed on okay so let's jump in my 50 real quick I don't think my 50 will do that maybe it will hell I don't know whenever I move around I just move it around with the bucket if I turn you know like well go ahead and bring it out whenever you can and and i'll uh i'll definitely do some videos of it and see see what we can do i wanted to do the weight test i thought that was a really good one um and see that pick i just thought about this so it picked up the block 
and it doesn't even have an angle blade to give you counterweight over the back and when I did that if you've seen it the block was like you know pushed up against the coupler so it was out another two foot that's pretty impressive because the angle blade does help quite a bit it's quite a bit heavier I don't remember what the weight difference is couple hundred pounds so that's actually lacking a couple hundred pounds granted it it gains some distance on the front they're a little longer um, but after having this angle blade on this I'll never have another one without an angle blade I, I use it way too much and sorry my machine's filthy um, I told him that Yanmar needs to make that the stick in the boom they need to make it gray too that way because I use gray grease at least that way you wouldn't see all my grease on it but I need to get the power washer out and wash it it's just been I've been busy we're gonna do it over the weekend but anyways uh, SV40 guys let me know what you think of it uh, visit your local Yanmar dealer tell them you actually saw the video of Skidco and it really made you interested in this excavator um, tell them I'm in the Kansas City area maybe it'll help me out getting more Yanmar equipment um, that way we can we can get it in here and get you guys information on it um, and it it definitely helps me be able to get equipment like this and like this um, we actually demoed this because we're thinking about I'm thinking very seriously about buying that but he brought me this out solely to do a video on because he thought that it would help you guys out you know you could see what it does do a weight test whatnot and just kind of see what she'll do so anyways there you go like and subscribe hope you like the video and have a good day thank you